What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the content over here. Drop a like as well for your homie. So in this video, I want to talk about can men and women be friends? Before I answer that question, I want you to drop your comment down below what you think. Increasing that engagement signals YouTube algorithm to spread the seed of masculine energy. All right. So personally, I think fuck no. Men and women cannot be friends. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to ruffle some fucking feathers here of some little soy boy bitches and some white knights over here. And some girls who watch my channel, they'll be like, oh my God, yeah, I have male friends. And guys are going to be like, I have girlfriends that I've, I've been friends with since like, you know, fucking this time and this time. It's like, okay, look, if you, if she were to say, look, you and I are never going to have sex. You are never going to be intimate. Nothing is ever going to happen between you and I, you, and, and th this is just, this always goes down to being like true to yourself. All right. I don't have girlfriends, like friends that are chicks. I have a girlfriend who is my woman who lives with me. Uh, and the other girls that are in my life that like, you know, there is one girl that I used to hang out with back in the day that is my friend's girlfriend now. Uh, we're not like friends, like we don't hang out, you know what I mean? Like, so, so that's the thing. It's like, it's like dudes just need to be real with themselves and think like, do you like, okay, like for real, men are always like, like, oh yeah, like, you know, we're just hanging out, doing this and that. It's he, all he wants to do is he wants to fuck her. He finds her attractive. She's not really down. Like maybe she's getting out of a relationship. Maybe she's, you know, going through a rough time and, you know, does, or just doesn't fucking find him attractive. And he's going, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to sit here and hang out back here on the back burner until uh, you and I can get drunk enough uh, so we can fuck. Any high value man, any man worth his merit is going to know that it is a waste of time for you to spend your time with a woman who you're not, you know what I mean? Like, like if you're not, okay, on your mind, you're trying to think of, okay, when you hang out with your homies, okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking phrase this properly. When you're hanging out with your 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 guy friends, your 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 homies, your your dudes, the guys that you fucking love to hang out with. When you're hanging out with them, what do you talk about? Dude shit, cars, fucking business, money, uh, hot bitches. You know what I mean? Bitches that you'd like to bone. Even even in relationships, guys still do that. So if you even go back to like 1950s, 1960s, dudes and chicks were not fucking friends. There's this point in time where we have crossed this like threshold where I don't know if it's internet access or what it is, but there are then there are too many fucking soy boys accepting friendship from women because they think that it's going to work to getting into their fucking pants. Guys just want to have sex with hot girls. Hot sexy women matter to us. They matter to guys. And girls are looking for safety and security. Look, if she can get you to be paying for shit, drinks, bills, there are guys out there, fellas that are listening to this right now, there are guys out there in this planet that are paying for a girl's rent, her phone bill, her food, just because she hangs out with him. Hangs out with him. Not because she sleeps with him, nothing, nothing like that. She hangs out with him, she keeps him company. So he's like, oh, I'll just pay for you. That is the biggest crock of shit ever. And here come the fucking ambulances, right? So that is the biggest bunch of bullshit ever. You should not be giving a lot of money away to somebody who's not reciprocating in the way that you want. So fellas, if you're friends with a woman, ask yourself, why the fuck are you? Do you really even give a shit what the fuck she talks about? Like, you know deep down inside you don't give a shit about her goddamn nail color you don't give a shit about her fucking eyeshadow her eyeliner her makeup uh the stupid shows that she the girly shows that she watches like i can barely stand watching like those drama shows right because they just don't interest me 
But like my girlfriend tries to get me to watch them because she's like, I like it. Can you not like it? And I'm like, uh, no, you know, but she compromises for me and watches shows that I know that she would not like. <laughs> so I will do that with her. But that is a girl. That is a that is not a platonic relationship. That is a men. That is a, I'm in a fucking sexual relationship. So if you think about it, fellas, you're accepting bullshit from the opposite sex by being friends with a, a, a woman that you, you know deep down inside you want to bone. Like, don't fucking lie to yourself. And especially, this this matters even more too, especially to, to men that are going through a breakup and then that girl friend zones them. That's another thing I want to talk about. You were once in a sexual relationship and now she friend zones you. And guys are like, yeah, 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 you know what? Yeah, so who's a stupid one here? right? Chicks are just going to want to get what they can from you, your safety, security, your company, your attention. They're going to get this shit from you as long as they can, because why wouldn't they? It just validates their social, their social standing. If, if no man wants a woman, right? Think about it. What value does she have? What social value does she have? If no man wants her, this is another reason why chicks go out with rich guys and guys that have power because it elevates their social standards, what people see in them. So ask yourself, fellas, is it really in your best interest to be friends with a girl? It's not going to get you anywhere. It's you don't she ain't going to be paying for your schooling. She's not going to be paying for your medical bills for you, for the folks that live in the United States. Uh, and have private health care or, or whatever you guys deal with it from the ignorant Canadian speaking. So no disrespect intended. So, you know, she's not going to be paying for your car. She's not going to be doing all those, you know, all those activities for you. Okay, so what is she offering to you then? Her body? She's not even offering her body to you. What, she watches movies with you when you're when you're alone? Put the work in to develop yourself so you can literally talk to any girl on the face of this planet. It is not, it, it's a fucking skill, okay? Excuse me, it is a skill. You use this skill and you get what you want from it. And this is the, this is the true root of the problem. Dudes are ignoring their true desires. They're ignoring it and they're putting it on the back burner. And then what ends up happening is you get resent, you gain resentment for that girl and you get resentment for yourself for not actually pursuing what you really wanted from this particular interaction with this woman. And that's it for this video. Get what you want. Go after what you want. You only live for 80 to 100 fucking years anyway, sometimes shorter, fellas. Stop bullshitting yourselves and go out with people that you really want to go out with, hang out with people who you really want to hang out with, get the amount of money that you really fucking want. Okay. It is a much easier life when you have wealth, you can have everything you want done.